Cancer, welcome to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I'm going to do your reading. It is for the second week of July or middle of July. Uh, I hope you're doing amazing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for viewing, liking, subscribing, leaving comments and all the good stuff. Uh, I'm also doing personal readings during July. So um, yeah, you can check the description box and get in touch if you want to have a reading. Happy birthday. If uh, it is your birthday, Cancer. I hope you are having an amazing uh, celebration or will have an amazing celebration. I think, um, well, uh, Cancer month, sorry, I'm losing track of time, so it's quite a while. <laughs> it is your season for the taking, all right? Uh, I'm going to do a love spread. Um, so if you're not interested in love, maybe then the reading isn't for you. <laughs> Check out other signs in your chart as well, Cancer. But I have a card actually that fell on the floor. I will pick that one up. So it's asking me to shuffle one more time. So, all right, Cancer. We have here the Eight of Cups. So you are contemplating, looking at other options. You're walking away from perhaps also any option from the past. There is a person, um, sorry, now this card is stuck on the floor. <laughs> Great. Uh, it is, there is a spiritual connection. Maybe you haven't been in touch with this person for a while, uh, feeling that you are a bit distant from them. They feel distant from you. This person could have Taurus in their chart. Um, I see someone could be going through a bumpy road or feel that this connection has been very bumpy. Um, but there is a love offer coming towards you. I see that you are... I find also the cancer season and person, personal experience, it can go up and down when it comes to emotions, obviously for various reasons, but uh, a, a cancer month, I think for everyone can bring up like deep emotions or maybe even feeling moody and feeling irritated and just different emotions, but it doesn't last, you know, that it's like the tide with the moon. It doesn't last. It's uh, sometimes actually some emotions need to be washed up for them to feel oh, clear. You always usually feel happy, you know, a couple of days after if, if you had experienced something, you know, to do that uh, caught you in a bad mood and no one wants to be in a bad mood. I don't think it's comfortable <laughs> for anyone. And I see here, that maybe you've been dealing with someone that, um, you know, they've been feeling, uh, yeah, just the bumpy road. They feel like tired. They feel like moody and so on. But there is a shift in the energy. I see um, they, the positive here is that they, they definitely want to talk to you. Uh, but I see someone could be maybe a bit, yeah, again, like, scarcity mindset in a way, holding on to old stuff, um, yeah, if there is their own stuff or there's just something they're holding on to. But what they want is to start again, give you an offer. This person is very, you know, they're very interested to give you this offer. They, they want to express love. They don't want this nine of wands, this kind of feeling like it's impossible to get anything off the ground. So, so that's there. Um, I also see that... Um, yeah, they. you could have air uh, elements in your chart. Maybe you're born near Gemini or you have air elements in your chart, but they see you as the queen of cups. Um, this person, like there's something about um, staying in the hermit zone mode, whatever it might be. It's not helping. It's not even necessary. Like it's kind of past being upset or being sort of, I don't really see like this is a face of, oh, I'm going to make prove a point. So I'm just going to run away. I don't really see that. I just see something, someone got themselves into a situation and, and now they're off, off grid. But mm, yeah, th this person here, they want to make a move. They want to come towards you. They could also have cancer in their chat, but I'm picking up Taurus, Virgo. Um, yeah. Now, okay, their actions is they need to get themselves out of something, up of something. They feel... We'll clarify, <laughs> but their action is the Ten of Swords. They have to move, make a move on. They have to get out of whatever mud they got themselves into. Now, they see you as someone lighthearted. They see you as someone that don't hold the grudge. They see you as someone, uh, you know, that 
they feel like you are this sweet, loving, fun person. Now, how your int uh, intentions, Cancer, with this person is you're you're definitely not taking any actions. You are saying no. Nah. <laughs> not taking action towards them. They do view you as keeping your guards up. They do view you as, and that you view them as being indecisive. So you might be viewing each other correctly. Now, the, the final outcome here is positive. It is that it's possible to collaborate. It's possible to find that wish fulfillment. It is possible to talk together. It is possible to come together. And I do see, um, like here, they see you as, as the empress and they could be a bit younger. The issue with this person is that they feel that they have to, like, they feel they have to have a certain job, certain income, that you are looking down on them if they don't have anything significant to offer or that they haven't had any significant progress and so on. But I see this person is very sweet, they're very romantic, um, and I see they have to get uh, out of a, uh, a way of thinking that isn't good for them. So there might be this person also running into these problems because they they made that bed, they they have to lay in it. So so this person is someone that didn't really take serious actions. They were very much of a dreamer, hoping things would fall into place or uh, and then <clears throat> they might have got, you know, upset for no reason. <clears throat> I see someone here not very good with communication. Those that aren't good and open with the communication can often be the ones that get into a kind of a mood or frame of mind because they're not discussing it with anyone. And of course, when you create your own story in your head and maybe you will check on Google and <laughs> whatever else, it's not usually accurate. Um, so I see someone here could be a little bit immature in that sense, but they definitely want to, to they have, sweet feelings for you, uh, Cancer, and um, because they do, they're not able to work, or oh, I can't speak, not able to walk away and not contact you, that's not possible, but you are definitely not planning to contact them, you see this person as uh, staying confused for way too long, what you don't know and what you don't see coming is the Eight of Wands, it could take you by surprise because you have given up on this person and I think that you have written this person off um, when it comes to hearing from them. So, Cancer, we have the Eight of Wands. So, why are they feeling the Eight of Wands? Why is the Eight of Wands here for Cancer in July? Oh... So they have this Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, they think that you are angry with them. They think that you ha will freeze them out. They think, yeah, they think that you don't think much of this person. Oh gosh. <laughs> and uh, they think that you will t reject their offer. So that's where they're at. Um, however, they do want to work on the connection. That's what they want to. Uh, and uh, they do aim to give you an offer and they want to, I see this person have delayed this based on just a, a mood they're in, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> you know, they are going to come out of this, uh, it's in reverse, so keeping, staying hidden, the secrets, you know, keep being their emotions hidden, it's not really working out for them. It's only... They, they're only sabotaging themselves. Like it, It's just nothing is coming out, out of this situation for them that is going to be in their favor or this union's favor. Uh, they have made, like, there's delays here because they chose not to communicate. They chose to stay away, um, hope for improvements in their life and thinking that magically they're going to, wake up one day and uh, they will be ready to take the right action, but that's not usually what happens. Uh, you could be dealing with an Aries. They are healing. Now, see, they view you as <laughs> there is a mental conflict. That's how they view you. So again, there's another sign here that it's immaturity on their side. They are creating this idea 
that something is the way it is without actually communicating. Mm -hmm. They are very attracted to you and um, I don't really see them staying uh, away. They are reflecting and feeling nostalgic about um, memories of you and them, but they I know, uh, I, I can see here, they know that they have to uh, confront their fears. They have to communicate without communication, they will never know. And attempting to communicate, they might also be, well, they might not receive any response from you. Um, and they have to prepare themselves for that. I do see that they're, they are going to do what they said they were going to do eventually with the Eight of Wands. But they view you in a way that might not be true. That is a, something that they have made up in their head <laughs> about. Yeah, and, and they see also that it's because of their own doing. That they have been in and out that they have neglected you, the union. So it seems that they are self-aware. So there is changes, but yeah, I do see there's new beginning uh, in their life because they are stepping up as the, the emperor and that is them taking accountability, taking action. Perhaps this person have matured. Their ways definitely, definitely didn't um, yeah, not, it was not in their favor. So, Cancer, yeah. See, they want to have success, movement. They want to find this balance. They want to start over. But again, how they view you, they are preparing to be rejected. There could also be a third party that uh, have been there as well. I don't really see it that way now because... They are very much focused on you. It's, they are coming up as being single. This person is with the chariot. They are saying, okay, I'm single. I'm going to come towards uh, cancer and I'm going to say what I need to say. Uh, there might also be a Taurus around you. Um, yeah, there is a choice in love for you, a decision that uh, is going to be made uh, cancer. Hmm. Now, yeah, because this Ace of Cups is it's coming in with this. It's a refreshing offer. It is also you looking at the offer. It's also you uh, being aware of who it is. And you are going to be in your feelings when this person does reach out. It's a very sweet uh, gesture, how they come towards you. And I do see you feeling happy. It's going to change the energy around this connection. Um, yeah. The Ace of Cups, so the Ace of Cups in your feelings, Cancer. Mm, okay, you, right now, for many of you, Cancer, you have given up on love. You just do not see how anyone is going to excite you in love. You are not excited <laughs> about love. You you are excited about nice, like, a nice get together with friends and family and you are just not you are just not uh, optimistic about love right here right now and again this it could take you by surprise uh it's when you least expect it and you are also saying that i am not expecting it and and suddenly this offer is coming towards you now, I do see here, you view them as manipulative, wearing a mask, poor planning, they have untapped talents, they're insecure, they're lack of confidence, and they're narcissistic. <laughs> Great. So, that's how you view them. Um, now, yeah, and they view you as uh, keeping your guard up, uh, rejecting them, not interested in them, uh, playing games. So, <laughs> but... It looks like um, with the Eight of Wands, yeah, the person is on a distance, looking to give you this cup, looking to uh, share love with you. So it looks like one person here have to break the ice. You are focusing on giving yourself love and 
that is that's your focus, uh, Cancer. I, I see that you will you will take the time that you need to fill up your own cup, and I think you are not there yet, and you will be there. So the uh, the final outcome is that you are looking to be content with your health. Uh, with the people around you, with just your own living. I see that is also improving. improving. Uh, and I see that as you feel happier and more content in your own life, something is easing up also when it comes to love. But right now, you do view someone as yeah, the list that I just mentioned. <laughs> and uh, I, I would say they are not your favorite person to be contacted by right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything else? So, uh, what, what happened here? Uh, the Hierophant in the past. Oops. Why is the Hierophant here? For, for Cancer. Oh, Cards are messed. Mess, messy table for me today, sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Judgment. Maybe you felt there was poor judgment and you let someone in too close and that, like, they made you very happy, but then you felt there was a false start. Yeah, false start here, you felt. Um, and you felt that you gave away your love too soon. And this is what this person wants to, to change. Yeah, the star. So don't give up hope anyway, especially not when it comes to love. This person could have Sagittarius, Aries in their chart. I do see that healing needs to take, take place. I do see there is a soulmate connection that is holding you together. I do see they... <laughs> they're they're aware that you will cut their head off uh, if they don't come in correct or they know how they need to come in. I do see that um, they need to <clears throat> come in with love. They are a little bit scared. I'm not going to lie. This person, they... They feel safer dreaming and thinking about <laughs> how, how this can come together, but... They will come in. There is also a King of Cups that is going to present themselves to you, uh, collective as well. I do see you're moving into wish fulfillment in a time where things are a little bit easier. Many of you could have felt that everything is an uphill struggle, but it's because the transformation wasn't completed. There is a chapter or there is something about you finding... It's something about you really finding the flow in your everyday life, feeling lighthearted and happy. So that has to do with your health <clears throat> and maybe also not staying too long uh, in this place that is easy to stay where it's comfort zone, but also ensuring that you find an environment where you are happy and thriving as well. So you are still one foot in, uh, in this, you know, in this hermit where you are being a hermit and reflecting, but there will be, very soon there is an invitation, there is also you getting together with friends, uh, you will also feel up for it, uh, feel up for mingling a bit, but I do see here there is something about you giving up on someone here, uh, I do see Someone reaching out last minute. I feel that this person is um, going through a breakup with perhaps a queen of wands. And they feel watched. They feel that they can't really enjoy themselves and... And be the person or that come forward the way they want to with you before everything. Yeah, there has been a separation between the two of you. Uh, again, they are sorting out finances. This has to change for them. So when they come back in, there's also uh, allowing the situation to unfold. There is 
passion there is your heart and soul connecting as well so there will be talk about what was the deception here what's what really happened so something something is coming to the surface about a betrayal that you've experienced it is also possible that again for those of you that let's say if you have an ex you've been married in a long-term relationship that type of person will come to the surface it's you know that they can also be that you or and both of you are healing and dealing with you know really cutting off trauma from these kind of relationships and maybe because two people are never usually healed at the same time. So there is here a deception and there is an unrequited love. So it's possible because both of you could view each other in a certain way, even though you have love for each other. I see, yeah, the separation and uh, the finances could have been the reason why there was a separation and there was codependency as well. I felt also that... This con it was actually a blessing in disguise. See here, unrequited love. There is this courtship. I feel that one of you were dealing with codependency. I think it was them. And then there was a separation and no contact. And this maybe is the same. But there will be this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You will find out what happened. A message again. Expect the message. Someone is releasing their ex. It could be you, it could be them, it could be both. Forgiving and learning. You are optimistic. See here again. Have faith um, and hope. Love will... Uh, uh, sorry. sorry, positive thinking. Faith will bring you romance. See, loving yourself first. Mature a woman. Uh, it's safe for you to love. So I'm definitely picking up here, Cancer, that you are going to enjoy your self enjoy your life and in a different way because there is still something that you have to go through that you need to wash out of your system in a way and that is quite near and we never really quite know when we have healed from different things and situations because we are healing throughout our life uh it's no we are never you know perfectly aligned and we are okay now now I can take on anything but I see how especially when it comes to love you might feel like oh I'm open to love and then you might feel oh I don't know so there might be this feeling of oh I don't know why I'm not feeling it but it says here first of all uh, for those of you let's say if you are one want to date someone it says here rather go out with your friends and enjoy yourself you don't force yourself to go out and date just because you need to tick that off your list it's saying here do something that you really enjoy something that is going with the flow something that is easy and there is this period that you'll go through and of course it's your birthday as well cancer and i see that is a period where you should just do things that are easy flowing and, and you will receive the answers that you are looking for. And, and I do see this person here taking action with the Ace of Wands. But there's delays because around them there is someone, you know, there is someone holding on to them. Especially if you're dealing with a Virgo. There has been an ending between them and a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. Or there has been an ending. So they are here on the, they are looking to contact you. But there is, again, they have to... They have to take the swords out of their back. They need to come in on top form. It looks like they have some pressure. This person likely have a fire element, but they have been a player. They had a scarcity mindset. They had an opportunity to get something off the ground. They've been struggling with maybe health, finances, and there has been a karmic wheel that has come to an end. Now, if they are going to come into you, it looks like they you will pass a judgment and throw them right uh, you know, to the lion's den if they haven't prepared themselves. And I think they are not going to take that chance even, but they are thinking about it. They are thinking about taking this chance because they do miss you. They feel nostalgic. They feel that, oh gosh, I don't really want to be away from cancer. And uh, why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, see, so they were caught out. Um, some <laughs> they were caught out in a third party, and I see that this ended. This had to end. They, they, they potentially have been living. They have been living a lifestyle while 
like as a single person while they've been in a relationship uh, and just been getting away with it, um, they, you know, they have never really gotten over you. So again, this person could, so they are sh showing up eventually as someone that have, so you, there could be a Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn. There is also so uh, sorry there all there is also Sagittarius so this person here is coming towards you there is someone here that wants to give you an offer they want to get together and it will be a happy uh, union but they can't come in too soon um because yeah they are not ready for some of you you have two people you have a Virgo or an earth sign and you have a um fire sign yeah Justice. Things are in your favor, Cancer. Finally, things are being revealed, coming to surface. Why did something happen? Something that about, uh, yeah, the person that's coming in, King of, King of Cups, they're going to wear their, head, their heart on a sleeve. Mm -hmm. There's news. Uh, they could also have Pisces, um, Scorpio in their chart. Pisces, Scorpio, and another confirmation of Pisces. Also, Aquarius, Gemini could be in your chart, Cancer. But uh, we also have Libra. So you might have one of these elements in your chart here. Um, I do see more than one person coming into your life because you have the lovers as well. But again, you will you will meet the right person in due course, Cancer. And um, yeah, I just see that it, it will come based on you feeling ready to um it's not that you have to feel ready to be in a relationship it is you getting into a quite a careless type of vibe just feeling okay i'm actually not thinking about someone for once i actually today i had a really great time just catching up with a friend you will get into more and more of moments where you really are saying oh you know i really love this moment today i really love that moment and you'll find yourself that you are filling up the cup to yourself and realizing actually, you know, there is so many things in my life that I can appreciate without having this specific someone. There's also your finances improving. So there is something changing within you based on the little experiences that you are going to, um, you know, move forward with cancer. And it's, I see towards the end of July, uh, again, something is, changing something is uh improving and you feel lighter happier and yeah and you will find yourself in a situation where you get all the answers and moving into uh leo season with this closure and uh most likely here also uh, with someone that you feel very passionate about and someone that you feel that is safe to love because you are going to get what you deserve what you uh, are, are worthy of and 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 what you are ready for um, a cancer and you will find uh, yourself actually feeling uh, positively surprised of the outcome so uh, if this uh, reading resonates uh, with you please like subscribe and uh, leave a comment thank you very much and happy birthday and i hope you have a beautiful week ahead cancer